Hi guys, I'm Smitha and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things AI and machine learning related. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how machine learning is used for sentiment analysis. We're also going to deep dive into what exactly is sentiment analysis and we are going to be looking at how we can extract sentiments from both video and audio formats and how we can actually build some really cool projects from that. So without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. Sentiment analysis is an extremely widely used tool all over the world. A lot of major businesses make use of sentiment analysis in order to make really important business decisions. In the world of finance, sentiment analysis is used for analyzing tweets, analyzing different news sources in order to help predict stock prices and also different fluctuations in a lot of different commodities. In fact, a lot of major companies make use of sentiment analysis in order to actually understand employees' concerns and how they can actually get their employees to stay on longer within their company. There are numerous use cases for sentiment analysis all over multiple different industries. So let's actually look at how a really basic sentiment analysis machine learning model looks like. In a really basic sentiment analysis machine learning model, you should be able to pass text into your machine learning model and get an output. The output is really basic. It should either let you know if the text is positive or negative. So Let's take a look at this diagram, which shows a very basic sentiment analysis machine learning model. You first pass in text and then it goes to a feature extractor. What this feature extractor does in a very simple case is essentially it takes text and it actually breaks it down into each individual word. Once you actually break your input text into all the individual words, what you would then do is actually remove the words which don't have that much significance. So these are all, these are actually called stop words. So words like this, the, etc. These words don't really have any significance when it comes to being positive or negative. So we would actually remove these words and the remaining words which are useful and have meaning, we would then pass them into the machine learning model. The machine learning model classifies whether each word is either positive, negative, or neutral. It actually assigns a score to each individual word and collectively it will assign a score to the entire text as well. So depending on the text output score, that's how it determines if something is positive or negative or simply neutral. So that's how a very basic sentiment analysis machine learning model looks like. Now, if we look at the type of data which is being produced in the world right now, a significant part of that is actually in video and audio format. If you look at different social media platforms such as YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, etc., we realize that majority of the content being produced on these platforms and also a significant portion of content being produced and data being produced by the world's population is in audio and video format. So it's important to actually include both of these formats, audio and video, when a company is doing sentiment analysis. There's a lot of important information in these type of content as well. And it's important to include them when you're doing sentiment analysis. So this is exactly where Assembly AI's API comes in. Assembly AI has built this amazing speech to text API, which is able to look at audio and video data and extract really useful information from that. So in this video, we're going to actually make use of their API, apply it to an audio source and extract some sentiments. So let's get started. To follow along with this tutorial, you're going to need an Assembly AI API key, and you can easily get that by using the link in the description box below, creating an account, and you can easily get your API key. For this example, I'm going to be using a TED Talk created by Dan Gilbert on the surprising signs of happiness, but feel free to use whatever URL of uh, audio or video that you guys are interested in transcribing. Next, you can open up a Jupyter Notebook or a Google Colab and run the following code in order to actually transcribe and get sentiment analysis from an audio clip. The first thing you're going to want to do is import 
request and also importing constant. Constance is just a file where I'm storing my API key and you guys can do the same as well. And we're going to define a variable called endpoint, which is essentially the URL of the API, which we are going to be calling. And we're passing some JSON data into this URL, which includes our audio URL and also if we want to get sentiment analysis. So, so we're going to place that as true. And also a header. The header should include your ABI key and it also should include the content type, which we want as JSON. And then we can create a response. In this first section of code, we're going to be sending a request to the assembly AI API to transcribe the data of this URL. So let's go ahead and run that. Once you've done that, you're going to get this type of output. And this ID right here is the idea for our transcription. And we're going to be making use of this ID to get the output of our transcription. You can also check up on the different transcriptions on the assembly AI platform as well. When you log into your account and you go into the developer section, you can see all the transcriptions that you have done and you can get the IDs of the transcription jobs that you have actually created. So this right here is the most recent one that I've created. I'm going to copy this and we can head back over to our code. And in this endpoint URL right here, I'm going to be including my transcription ID. We're also storing our output of the transcription into this JSON file called sentiment.json. So let's go ahead and run this. Now that we have stored our output from the sentiment analysis into our JSON file, let's actually take a look at our JSON file. So if you scroll to the end of our JSON file, we're able to get sentiment analysis for each individual sentence that is spoken in this audio. So the really cool thing about this sentiment analysis output is not only does it show you neutral, positive and negative classifications of the output, but it also gives you a confidence level of how confident the machine learning model is about this classification. So for example, in this instance, the machine learning model is 58.9% confident that it is a positive sentiment. And in this instance, it's 80% confidence that this sentence is of a neutral classification. There are so many use cases for this API. Based on its output, you can definitely use this transcription API for video reviews, for product review videos, and also many other types of video and audio content that you're interested in getting sentiment analysis from. Let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comment section below. And if you have any project ideas to use assembly AI's API for, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.